do you know how does it look like to provide and manage Kubernetes service in a telco? It means managing hundreds, even thousands of Kubernetes clusters across hundreds of locations. What kind of locations? Well, this might look familiar. Or even this, but it is also this. As an industry, we are not quite yet there, but the speed with which we are approaching to this scenario is enormous. Hello, everybody. I'm Vu Goinic, and since two years, I'm running Kubernetes platform team of Deutsche Telekom Technik, a uh, network technology unit of Deutsche Telekom in Germany. My cloud native journey started in mid of 2019 when I was asked to look into providing a Kubernetes platform for a telco workloads. What kind of workloads? Well, it is certainly not what you are expecting in an enterprise unless if you are coming from a telco. We run the service platforms and network functions uh, uh, there. Many of those you are using even uh, right now to participate in the KubeCon. Uh, which is the, the technology, which is highly and then very fast proliferating in that space. Can you guess it? I guess you guessed it well. It is a 5G and this is also what we are building and providing our platform for, because it also requires platform and infrastructure to run somewhere. Um, we asked ourselves when we began, how could we provision, maintain, and manage Kubernetes clusters, the Kubernetes stacks at that scale, with a small, relatively small people of not more than 10 uh, SREs. And uh, we looked into what is uh, what is common in the industry and one of the common and accepted statements is that kubernetes is mature for production as it is and this if this was the true in 2018 uh, it is even more true in 2020 and it's true not only for kubernetes but for many other pieces of uh, cloud native technologies there are, of course, many advanced solutions and distributions on the market. And each of those is bringing a lot of uh, options and benefits. The question is, what do you need? And we found just enough of what we need for our use case in CNCF. We got inspired by those who did the same or similar thing before us, and we decided to follow their uh, path. Fail we may, sail we must, expecting long journey. We gave our project symbolic name Das Schiff, which is a ger German for the ship. And our uh, small but growing team eagerly embarked. All the pieces came together in a platform, in the platform, by usage of and combination of cluster API and Flux CD. This enabled us to enjoy all the benefits of GitOps as pioneered uh, by VWorks. However, in this case, for a managing telco and 5G infrastructure at scale and all of that even on the bare metal. Managing, it's actually not the right term. It is rather self-management, a situation in which infrastructure takes care of itself for a most of the time without too much attendance. Our work actually focused on creating a glue for all of this uh, in the form of Git layout that enabled us to cover our multi-site, multi-infrastructure 
and multi-cluster scenario. This is a foundation on top of which we added all the components which are necessary if you claim to provide a managed service. But if you are in a scenario on-premise and in the use case like ours, having a Kubernetes cluster is only one piece of the puzzle. For the other pieces, we had to go cross-foundational, if I may. You also need the modern uh, data center networking stack. And what would be more natural for people and for a team who is uh, running uh, Kubernetes platform, but to choose the network stack which is based on the containers. This is what we found in a Sonic out of Open Compute project. They have some extremely super interesting uh, integration and fusion with Kubernetes on their roadmap. Think of it like having all your switches in a data center being a Kubernetes node forming a big Kubernetes cluster and the software for those switches running as a cloud native application in the same cluster. Centerpiece of our approach are bare metal Kubernetes clusters. And to manage bare metal in a cloud native way, we turn to Ironic out of Open Infrastructure Foundation. Ironic in combination with Metal Cube is giving a very good way to manage bare metal. And these are all good pieces of software for that function. Um, with this, we have rounded up our approach and we ended up with a platform in which we use only Git and Kubernetes API to manage and provision and manage bare metal servers and ultimately create uh, bare metal Kubernetes clusters uh, with them. And on that platform, we are currently onboarding quite some workloads, 5G core among others. The same setup we can apply on bigger core locations where you have a couple of hundreds of servers, smaller edge locations, but even on the very small far edge locations. There are many benefits due to which we prefer bare metal Kubernetes for a telco and 5G use case. These are among others, less overhead, uncomplicated multi-tenancy, easier use of hardware acceleration and direct hardware access in general, and high flexibility and possibility to customize the operating system level. Are we done? Not ne nearly. We are working uh, with uh, our friends from VWorks and uh, with the Firecracker team on use case uh, for micro VMs to act as a control plane in our resource constrained far edge scenario. This could, however, unlock uh, much more and vibrant innovation for the use cases which are way beyond what we are trying to do. It's very, very interesting and very exciting. So this is a story about how we build a platform for cloud native telco and 5G. However, it is not less important to work uh, in the community and uh, to help network functions uh, become cloud native so that they comfortably run on such a platform. Therefore, we are actively engaging in a CNF working group, and we see it as a driving force that will enable ultimately possibility to test the conformance of cloud native network functions to uh, universally accepted cloud native principles and best, uh, best practices. The main paradigm of software delivery and network function uh, delivery in telco today is so-called systems integrated approach. It is based on testing and validating all the components which are version pinned uh, for the internet working couple of times uh, a year. As much as this 
systems integrated approach worked well for the past, it is not fit at all for a cloud native scenario and for a highly dynamic environment. The CNF vendors need to enable CNF operators to validate and test platform and CNF combination on a continuous basis, ideally daily, so that they can assure its availability and the SLA for that cloud native network uh, functions. This is what we are looking for to see as a, one of the outcomes of the CNF working group. Finally, we are committed to give back to the community, to share our experience, our know-how, and also components that we developed on our own. Therefore, we are working uh, with, with our partners in WeWorks to create a composable uh, Telco 5G cloud native platform that others could be able to use and uh, hopefully get inspired to contribute. For more details about that, please visit our GitHub page and feel free to contact me as well. And finally, for the end, this conference would not be a conference uh, without me saying we are hiring. And indeed, we are hiring for the positions based in Germany. So if you like Kubernetes, bare metal networking, and if you are good at that, please feel free to contact me. Thank you everybody for listening in and I wish you great rest of the conference. Bye.